You are listening to the Virtual Assistant Israel podcast. At Virtual Assistant Israel, we provide entrepreneurs and small businesses with personalized, top-level marketing and administrative support. We do everything surrounding your core competency, therefore empowering you to focus on what you do best. Learn how we can help your business by visiting us at www.virtualassistantisrael.com. Today's topic is Set Yourself Up for Success in Meeting Deadlines. Capable of meeting deadlines is a line you have probably seen in many a job posting. Whether the opening is for a journalist, a speech therapist, a teacher, or a delivery person, capable of meeting deadlines is not something that employers are willing to forgo. Because in most jobs, tasks need to be completed in a timely fashion. So what do you do if time and time again you fail at meeting deadlines? If you decide that you want to complete work projects on time, you can. You just need a little help getting there. Here are five tips that can turn you into a deadline meeting machine. Figure out where your weakness is. Okay, we know that you don't meet deadlines, but why? Are you juggling so many projects at work that you're overwhelmed? Do you prioritize less important tasks over more important ones? Are you a procrastinator? Or are you just naturally forgetful? Once you find your point of weakness, you can address it. If you're overwhelmed, talk to your supervisor or direct reports. Delegate tasks. Create priorities lists. If you procrastinate, find a method that can help you. And if you're naturally forgetful, there's an app for that. The point is, once you identify what your issue is, you can work on it. Learn to say no. When your boss or colleague asks you to do something at work, your initial response is probably to say yes, which is natural. You want to be seen as a team player after all, and you're absolutely capable of taking on that task. So saying yes is the smart choice, right? No, not always. In some cases, it's important to say yes, but in other cases, it's equally as important to say no. Once you start saying no and taking on less responsibilities, you free yourself up to complete the task at hand on time. Minimize distractions. If your workload is manageable but you find yourself getting distracted, trying out an app that minimizes distractions is a great option. Sure, you may not like the idea at first, but you may slowly learn to love it as you realize how much easier it becomes to complete your work and meet your deadlines. Break the task down and set mini deadlines. If you need to complete a 200-page doctoral thesis, setting a deadline a year in advance won't actually encourage you to complete it on time. On the other hand, if you set yourself mini deadlines, that can be a game changer. Get enough sleep. Did you know that when we sleep, our brains clean out all our unnecessary thoughts and clutter? Yep, it's true. When you get enough sleep, you are more equipped to battle your procrastination tendencies, to make good decisions about your priorities, and to have enough energy to operate productively. Practice makes perfect. Let's be real. It's taken you a decent amount of time to build the habit of not meeting deadlines, so correcting this habit won't necessarily happen overnight. But if you consistently use the strategies that work for you, you will see improvement, and more importantly, see results. Thank you for listening to the Virtual Assistant Israel podcast. You can contact us by phone at 646-504-0452. Learn more by going to www.virtualassistantisrael.com.